Okay, you guys, so you can probably already tell from the title of this video that one of the vehicles on the channel is gone. So, you may be able to tell. We have these two, we still have that. What do we get rid of? What else is gotten rid of? Well, we still have that. Yes, we did in fact sell the daily. So, the daily is gone, you guys, and I say this with a deep breath because uh, I was thinking we have so many cars here that it shouldn't be an issue to you know cash out of the Jetta because we don't really do much content with it and I kind of just want to daily a car that we're doing content and kind of makes sense right so that was my original plan and then all of a sudden we get into a situation where this is pretty much a track car right it's all prepped for track it's got racing brakes they squeal like a bus which is fine for track use but for daily it's kind of annoying also has super super soft tires on it so they will pretty much melt uh pretty much instantly not instantly you guys know what i mean but they won't gonna last that long they might last like a thousand two thousand miles so i don't want to sit there and just burn those up because they're sticky for the track but if you're just dailying on them they're gonna end up getting spent really quick so and they weren't cheap either so what i was thinking is originally i intended to daily the dakota i know we put the cam in it that's why i haven't put the supercharger back on it because i was thinking we would probably, you know, just daily the the Dakota for now. And if it was naturally aspirated, if we threw a cam in it, maybe threw a tune in it, no big deal, right? Well, it's turning out to be a nightmare. So it was running, we changed the crank sensor, we changed uh, a bunch of stuff and then kind of reverted, got the truck running, it was solid, it was sound. And, you know, I moved it around and, you know, it was fine, started up all that good stuff. And then I went to just load a new updated tune uh, from Flying Ryan, and now the truck is dead in the water, won't start. So, if you guys don't believe me, unless it's gonna make a complete fool out of me, let me show you guys. This thing is just an absolute turd. I'm like coming to my wits end with this thing. I think it might honestly be, be PCM related at this point, because there's no reason for it, honestly. So, watch, here's the current status of the Dakota. It just cranks. See, it doesn't want to start. The weird part too is some guys said over here that it would say no bus if the PCM was gone, but it doesn't say anything like that. It just doesn't go. See, it fires and then just dies. That's all we get out of it. So I am kind of sick of this thing, you guys. I don't know what to say anymore, but let's go back in the shop and talk a bit more. All right, so that's the current status of that. You guys see it tries to fire up and then just dies. So I don't know, you guys tell me what you guys think it is. I think honestly it must be a PCM at this point. It's got a brand new, like I said, crank position sensor. I don't know why it's doing it, you guys. I, I, your guess is as good as mine. So um, what I am doing currently, so you know, the whole Mopar or no car, I, it's Mopar and I have no car, you guys, literally. Mopar and no car. So I can't daily this thing. This thing isn't a daily and this is more, you know, keepsake. I'm not really driving that to be honest. And it's not even really on the road. So I was going to daily the Dakota since it was the most normal vehicle I have at the moment, you know, just normal tires on it. And I figured we'd just cruise around in the Dakota, but that plan uh, isn't working out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm prepping <laughs> the S2000 so that I could just daily it right now. So I wanted to show you guys, you know, a few things that I'm doing. I'm changing the valve cover gasket since it was leaking a little bit. I'm changing the oil. I'm changing the brakes to just regular brakes. The only thing is I don't have a spare set of wheels and normal tires, so I'm gonna have to daily this with these on and I'm gonna be on the hunt for a different set of wheels so we can have these for the track when that time comes. So right now I've got this gasket kit from Molly. Let's throw it in there. We'll talk more about what the plan is, and maybe at the end of this video, we'll talk about what we are going to do with that Dakota RT. So stick around, let's get to work, and we'll talk more at the end. All right, so this valve cover was leaking a little bit from the back. The gaskets are just old on it. So um, while I do this, we'll talk more about what my intended ideas are. I've kind of got a bunch of ideas floating around in my head. Um, as far as the Dakota itself, I mean, I don't know. I swear that thing is just cursed. Um, I don't think it's like I'm doing as much as I can on my part. I feel like 
And I can't, I saw some comments in the, one of the other videos, I can't sit there and just replace every single part and sensor in the truck. That would just be ridiculous. So I'm not trying to build a brand new truck. Like I'm trying to be like you guys, right? I'm trying to have some fun on a budget, not cut any corners necessarily, but just don't replace things that aren't needed to be replaced, right? I think it's a pretty sensible approach, but I swear I can't catch a break with that thing. It's like every time it's like something wants to break. I don't know why. So, and then at the same time, this thing too, I mean, I was kind of thinking, you know, we'll talk about it more, is if we were to, you know, unload this S2000 and also unload maybe the Dakota, what we could, you know, put in that place. So let's pull this over the bench and we'll change out this gasket. So we'll drive out these seals from here, seems to be the easiest way, from the top. it over, flip it upside down and put the new ones in. Okay, there we go, those are in. We'll pull out this big rubber gasket now. Put the new rubber gasket on. Perfect. So this was the Molly one, if you guys are S2000 guys, just so you know. Everything fits good. Let's throw it back on the car. Let's throw this back on. Okay, there we go. And then it comes with all brand new ones of these with the metal cap. So we'll put those on to secure the valve cover. Okay, we got most of it together. I'm just putting the coil packs back in. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I've been changing the oil. So I gotta refill this thing with oil too. So I'll button this stuff up. Put some oil in, and we'll keep going. All right, I'm just finishing putting the oil in. Then we can move on to the brakes. All right, guys, just quick status update. I'm just burning through this thing and trying to record at the same time, but honestly, I just need to go inside. I've been up since like 6.30 in the morning. We went on a cruise with this, which I'll have footage for you guys because that was a really fun uh, day. But right now I'm trying to, and I'm just finishing up the brakes. So. I've got just my regular brakes, and honestly, I'm just going as regular and basic as possible. Just Duralast. I'm not trying to do anything crazy on the street. And I took off, these are the race brakes. Check out how cooked these things are. So these are the Raybestos ST43s, and that thing stops on a dime, but just for the street, we'll just cruise around with some nice, quiet brakes that don't make so much dust. So these are, uh, that's the brake dust from the race brakes, and it pretty much just eats the rotor because the compound of the pad material is so aggressive that it just eats at the rotor and you can see all the ridges and they squeal like a bus. But I don't care for the track, but for just dailying it, uh, not gonna go. So right now I'm just doing the rear. I'm gonna pull off the race brakes in the back, put the Duralast stuff on the back, just with the stock Honda rotors and uh, we'll run with that for now. All right guys, so that's it for the video today. I got the S2000 back together. I have to drive it tomorrow. Um, so what, that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm just using this, you know, for my A to B car right now. So where I'm going with this whole thing is the whole joke, you know, Mopar, no car, literally that is applying to me. It's Mopar and I've got no car. So, um, what I'm thinking is, and you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm almost on the verge. You guys, like I've said a few times, this isn't going anywhere. We have a big build coming. That's not going anywhere. But the S2000 and Dakota are kind of, mm, I know there's a lot of Dakota guys on here, but um, that thing, I swear that thing has cursed you guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just having bad luck or I'm, I'm desperately waiting to get to the end or see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's like something is always breaking. So I need something I can reliably drive. And I don't know, when I had that stock engine in there and I just left it alone, everything seemed to be happy. It, it always worked, didn't leave me stranded. And I was driving it for weeks like that. And then all of a sudden, we start messing with it and I don't know, it's like almost something electrical. It's not even anything mechanical, I don't think. It's nothing to do with, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, honestly, you guys. It's like, you know, it seems like something is just completely dead on the truck or acting faulty. So I don't know if it just coincidentally, uh, the PCM is failing. I think Jason has a spare one, so I'm probably gonna try that next or I might go through some other uh, di diagnostic stuff. I might try a different coil because I know I've swapped coils back and forth. Maybe it's the coil. I 
I don't know you guys. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. I'm like so close to just selling the S2000, selling the Dakota and getting something newer and something reliable. Can use it as a daily and have fun with it. I don't even care at this point what it would be. I almost feel like selling both of those and getting Corvette, newer Ram 1500, uh, I don't know, just something that's, you know, maybe Hellcat, I don't know. Something that I could daily and that is newer, that is not constantly breaking because, oh, I can't tell you, I'm just so frustrated right now, you guys, hopefully you guys can uh, feel me on that. So I'm gonna keep pushing forward, but I am so close to just throwing the towel in on that truck, I'm telling you. So um, yeah, I'm kind of getting a little bit bored with it. I might have to take a break on it, just a mental break because the thing is just so exhausting. It's like, the thing is like a newborn child. It's so demanding, it's just, it's always needing something. So I'm hoping I can get to the bottom of it. I have faith, um, hopefully wish, wish me luck on that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your comments are below. Is there another vehicle you'd rather see? Part of me just wants to get rid of Dakota, get rid of this and then get something newer that I can actually daily and enjoy and we can have a bit of fun with it and it's not constantly breaking down and I can just put fun stuff on it and enjoy it. Cause right now between this, you know, kind of breaking down sometimes and the Dakota really breaking down, I'm just like, ugh. Anyways, it's enough of me blabbing. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. You guys can watch my torture and uh, turn on that bell so you're notified of all the latest videos. See you on the next video. Take care.